Today you're going to be treated to a couple of videos that really need to be viewed. Uh, on one hand, we have the uh, corporate America, and the video does not actually speak to that, but speaks to all of the ills created by this corporation. And you'll also see how they are planning ill things for Americans. Um, it has come to the attention of uh, Wild NTB that the border crossings now engaged by the president's staff in regards to getting these busloads of uh, not Mexicans but Central Americans across into the United States is in addition to numbers far greater than they had originally said. The first estimates were in the hundreds, then shortly after that it went into the thousands. Today we're up to around 300,000 with no end in sight. Why? Because this particular occupant of the White House has decided that this is yet another way that he can bring America to its knees. He is charged. He is charged with the duty and responsibility of protecting the borders. But he doesn't. Does that make his actions treasonous? In my book it does. Purposefully, purposefully opening the borders. But worse than that, opening the borders to people from other countries, not even necessarily from the Americas. Come one, come all. Diseases that we have not had to deal with are potentially going to be spread throughout the United States. Children that are coming over with these diseases will be spirited off, driven, chauffeured by the recipients of a new contract given out by the executive branch. Obviously more cronyism because the contracts to drive these kids around was awarded to who? Ah, Acorn. Hmm, where have I heard that name before? Folks, if it wasn't so much the theater of the absurd, people should be picking up their pitchforks and torches. I'm mad. I'm mad because now we don't know where these kids are going. Will they be in the Northeast, as some are saying? Will they be in the Southeast, as some are saying? Or will they be both places? If you look at the map that they po posted on this, there's dots all over the country. Hmm. That being the case, and knowing what we now know, that these kids do, in fact, come here with the gift that keeps on giving, disease, Could not one extrapolate out and reason that this is a form of chemical warfare against America? They bend rules. They, they break rules with impunity. They stay in a state of treason. And they war against us. And what do we do? What do we do? We acquiesce? That's what most people do. But not all. Some have taken to other measures. Other measures that are lawful. Other measures that are designed to wake you up, because obviously you're still not awake. We've got to call them on their crimes. 
We've got to use the tools that uh, they use against us against them. We've got to assume our rightful position as the kings and queens on this land and make our demands known. We have a corporation, not a government. The corporation owes no allegiance to you or me. The positions that you voted to fill right now are vacant. These people are acting as corporate employees and officers, responsible only to that. Now, having said that, they also did something that is contractually binding, and that is they took an oath to the office. That oath requires them, makes them duty bound to respect and to honor, protect and defend the Constitution. Now, if it is constitutionally the job of the president to protect the borders, and he is not protecting the borders, I will say it's treason. You may not. You may call it something else. You may call it insurrection. You may call it some other crime. Whatever crime you decide to put on it, just make sure that it sticks. But one thing that can't be un uh, avoided, it cannot be avoided that they are in breach of their contract with us by virtue of their failure to comply with their oath of office. It doesn't stop there. It doesn't even start there. Right here at the local level starts there for you and for me. As an example, I just got a call from a fellow member of the Patrick Henry Board of Review who advised me that our uh, commission chairman has just hired a, a known felon, one that uh, both of us know from our experience in the adjoining county, and one that uh, has been doing business in these counties for many years. What kind of business, I can't say. But apparently the kind of business that lands you in jail. And yet that seems to be some sort of resume enhancer because although he was warned, he just gave a $50 million contract out to this convicted felon. Folks, who runs this? Who runs this ship? Do you think it is the people that we elect? If we're dealing with a corporation, then chances are that these people we elect are not the principals involved in the corporation. Chances are good that you're going to find out, as we hope to find out, that those that are actually running the cities and the counties never run for office. They are appointed. They stay in their positions for years and years and years. They instruct the people we elect on what to do, which contracts to award, how the business of the city, county, state, and federal government is, is run. We've been looking in the wrong places. We've got to find the principles of the corporation. Your county is one. Find out who those principles are. You might be surprised. Same thing applies to your city. There are still a few that are actually unincorporated. And chances are that the pattern still applies there. So 
it's going to be up to you to do your own uh, legwork in your own jurisdiction, as we are doing here. But I can tell you that in this locale, we have something called the Atlanta Regional Commission that is a offshoot of uh, Agenda 21, ICLE affiliated. That affiliation alone is a reason for anybody that is elected who is a member of that to be removed from office because what they are putting forward is a rival form of government that will replace what was duly constituted. Folks, we're going to have to grab this bull by the horn. Horns. We are going to have to be responsible. We're going to have to do the right thing. And it's not going to be easy and it's not going to be um, without price. There is going to be a price. I, yet, I do not know yet what that is, but I can tell you that we have, uh, we have stuff that we're going to have to deal with here that we haven't had to deal with before. It's no longer just a matter of voting. No. It's a matter of holding them accountable in ways they have never been held accountable before. Oversight that is more than oversight. Common law grand juries that are more than common law grand juries. We're going to have to establish these boards of review and empower them. Empower them to do what the county has been remiss in doing. And that is holding accountable elected and appointed and the hired anybody within the county organization that takes that oath and then violates it needs to go. But right now what we have is a situation where prosecutors, judges, for that matter sheriffs, they're just ignoring the will of the people when we call it to their attention. Crimes blatant crimes, having been exposed to DAs, personal experience talking here, go unpunished if they involve other attorneys within their circle and if they involve other politicians within their circle. None of us knows the exact affiliation that causes them to not prosecute these crimes. But that cannot be allowed to stand. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to form these boards of review. We're going to have to form them in every jurisdiction we can, every county we can, and we're going to have to show and lead by example. There's been a movement out here lately to, uh, um, to find the, the, the crimes that judges have been committing. No one thought to hold them accountable, but the few that have, instead of seeing the fines that have been levied actually paid, well, they have wound up in jail because they aggravated the judges. What's good for the goose is good for the gander but only if we make it so. So today is the 8th on the, <clears throat> on the 15th of next week. Oh, excuse me, today is the 9th. On the 15th of next week, the uh, county commission is going to have its meeting at 6.30 in the evening. I'm going to invite as many people as I can that... Uh, we can get up there to speak before the commission and let them know 
that henceforth this will not be permitted. The type of action that they're doing will not be permitted. Hiring known, known felons in a, in a bid process where there were other bidders. There has to be a reason. There is power being exerted here of which we know nothing. Can't do anything about that. But we can take care of the players who allow themselves to be used as pawns, and that's what's going to happen. So I want to ask that each and every one of you pay attention to what's coming down the pike. Uh, we'll be keeping you posted as to how long uh, it's going to take to get some action on this and to have the criminal complaints that are going to be filed acted upon. We'll keep you posted, but let there be no doubt. People around here, myself, we've had it. With what is going on on the border right now, as I speak, we've had it. It's time. Whatever actions you have that are reasonable, but forceful and direct, might be a good time for you to make others aware of them. Because we need to come together and come up with the right plan that is going to work whenever tried. Think about that. It's no time to be talking about problems anymore. <laughs> well past that. Let's talk about solutions. Let's think about solutions. I've got a few. Have you? If you do, let us know. Go to the contact page and email me. We're going to be setting up a uh, line of communication for everybody so that the, the things that can work, things that will be tested out in your locale by you, will have a place to be aired. You can make a video of it, just like we're going to make a video on the 15th of uh, what's going on in our uh, locale. You need to do the same. Successful action needs to be repeated. And whoever's got the right combination is going to step to the forefront. And that's what this is all about. We need to resolve the issues, no longer just talk about them. These videos, they're telling you many of the issues, not all, but many. Talk time's over, folks. Time to do something about it. Join us here at YLN TV, and let's see who has the best idea to bring this monster under control. Again, I'm Carl Alfred, and you're watching YLN TV. Thank you very much.